Hi students, coming to the next topic in the subject software engineering was user interface golden rules. So some of the rules you have to be followed uh, in the user interface side. Now let us see what are the golden rules of user interface. Mainly there are three golden rules of user interface. There are mainly three golden rules will be present on the side of user interface. So what are those three golden rules? So the first is place the user in control. Place the user in control. Second golden rule, reduce the user's memory load. And the third one is make the interface consistent. Make the interface consistent. So these are the three uh, main golden rules that we have to follow on the, in the case of user interface. So the user interface has to place the user in control. First they have to place whatever the user that we are going to be used that uh, user has to be in control and reduce the user's memory load so whatever the app we are designing and whatever the product that we are designing so the main thing is we have to reduce the memory load on users and make the interface consistent okay now let us see in detail what is the first golden rule that is the place the user in control so what this uh, how we can place the user in control what are the techniques we have to follow to place the user in control so first define interaction in such a way you have to define an interaction in such a way that the user is not forced the user is not forced into performing unnecessary actions so how you can uh, place the user in control the first technique you have to follow is there should be an interaction between the user and the uh, person who is implementing the app so first you have to define an interaction uh, so how you are going to define an interaction so that interaction should be in a uh, way that user is not forced the main thing is users or the people who are using our apps so we are developing everything uh, by uh, in the view of use users only so you have to take care user is not forced in performing unnecessary actions so that you have to be take care the first point in place the user in control is we have to not force it into performing unnecessary action and the second we have to provide for flexible interaction a user friendly interaction has to be provided provide for flexible interaction and allow user interaction to be interruptible reversible so uh, that user interaction to be user interaction to be interruptible and reversible also means how can you place the user in control by providing an interaction uh, so means the user can interruptible at any time means whatever the requirements that he want and whatever the doubts that he is having any help regarding the app so it should be an interruptible and in, in case of uh, it sometimes it should be a reversible also means we have to provide such type of environment so for user interface we have to place the user in control by following this point and still you have to hide technical internals from the casual user so this is the main uh, thing you have to hide the details hide technical internals from 
the casual users so some people will be there so they are try uh, simply wants to access the app with the, those are the casual users so uh, try to hide the details technical internals from the casual users and you have to design for direct interaction with objects that appear on the screen so this is how you're going to place the user in control so first define the interaction between the users and you have to try to solve that user is not forced in, into performing any uh, unnecessary actions and provides flexible environment and you have to the user at any time the user can interact uh, to be interruptible and it should maybe uh, re reversible also. Now coming to the second golden rule that is the reduce the user's memory load. So how we are going to reduce the uh, reduce user's memory load. Reduce user memory load. Why we are calling this as a golden rule for user interface. So how we are, we are going to reduce the user memory load. So first reduce demands on user short term memory. First you have to reduce demands on users short term memory. So we have to reduce the burden on the short term memories and you have to establish meaningful defaults so that you can reduce the user memory load. Establish meaningful defaults. So this everything whatever I am discussing is relating to the user interface only. So to reduce the user memory load in the case of user interface means when we are dealing with the user interface technology. Okay. So, the, uh, so you have to establish meaningful defaults and define shortcuts also so that you can reduce the memory load. Define shortcuts and disclose information in progressive fashion. Disclose information in progressive fashion. So if you follow... Uh, these points then you can reduce the user memory load so this is one of the golden rule now coming to the third golden rule of user interface that is make interface consistent make interface consistent so how you can make interface consistent so that you can achieve the user interface first allow users allow user to put the current task into a meaningful context. Meaningful context. So by, by doing this, we can make interface consistent and maintain consistency across a family of applications. So means in all applications, we have to maintain consistency. Maintain consistency across all apps across all applications or a family of applications so and you also if you want to make interface that user interface consistency uh, try to use the past interaction models only so which have created the user expectation and you have, do not make any changes on that past interaction models until there is a good reason to do this so mainly use the past interaction models which have created the user expectation so those models already created a user expectation so try to use that past interaction model so that you can make interface consistent because they are already proven that uh, models are already proven uh, the consistent state so try to use that. So suppose if you want to make any changes to that already created past interaction models, until there is no good reason, you, can't, you don't change, okay? Do not make changes unless there is good reason to do so. So these are the three main golden rules of user interface. First, place the user in control. Second, reduce the user memory load. And third one is make interface consistency. Thank you.